Hey, this is Sis Frank, author of Manipulation, Emotional Triggers That Make People Buy. You can get access to the program by clicking on the link under the video in which we describe our essential premise, that people buy their own emotions over and over again. After a brief introduction, I do a deep dive into 70 emotional triggers that people need because it's part of their identity. And identity is a big emotional trigger by itself, but all of these emotions make up who we think we are. And that's why we buy things. That's why we buy things that resonate with our sense of definition, right? What makes us feel good, what makes us feel bad, etc. And I'll give you a good example and maybe an exercise you can do yourself. People watch the same movies and TV shows over and over again. They're still talking about friends, right? And I watched a couple episodes Okay, it's a show, but um, it wasn't that important to me. But back when I was much, much younger, I was a Star Trek kid, right? And I would watch the same episodes. Why do we do that? And you do it, right? Think about the movie that you've seen 10 times. Why? What emotional ex experience does it give you, right? Or the genre. I mean, Netflix is basically a content factory turning out the same genre sausage over and over again because they've identified the emotional triggers that people want in these, let's say, filmed or television or video products, right? So ask yourself, pick one movie or one show you watch over and over again and list the emotions that you experience when you think about it, while you're watching it, and after you've watched it. How does it make you feel? What do you get out of it? Okay, what you've done is sketched out a short emotional trigger profile of what appeals to you in filmed entertainment, right? Fiction, let's say. Well, that's in all of us. It's in the customer that you want to sell your stuff to. And you might be making, you know, filmed entertainment, right? I mean, uh, got a young child who's watching YouTube and he's got like three or four channels that he likes. And I, you know, watch, you know, hours of it with him or it's in the background and I know what they're doing. And it's good. I mean, a lot of the programming is good that these often young people are producing. And, uh, you know, I applaud them, but they are making material that appeals to emotional triggers. All right. So that's a clue for how you can apply emotional triggers to your marketing, TV and film watching, especially repetitive watching. And if you want more in-depth, really a scientific and revolutionary approach to marketing, click on the link under the video and get access to the program. It's six and a half hours long. We do a brief intro about the principles and then the deep dive into the 70 triggers, which you'll just take anywhere from eight to 15 right? Write out an emotional trigger profile for your customer and you can target them. Okay. You can be precise. And what happens when you actually speak to your customer's emotions is you feel that it was made for you, just like the movie you've watched 10 times. I hope that makes sense. Click on the link, get the program.